we are now uh, moving on to the surface of the cylinder head. Um, I want to make sure it's flat, um, but in order to do so I need to clean all the surface up and then use my straight edge on there, engineer's edge on there, um, and check that it's within tolerance. If it's not, then we're sending it to another company to have it skimmed. Um, but we'll cross that bridge uh, when we come to it. First job is to um, carefully remove um, all the carbon buildup and any bits of gasket left. Uh, I'm using a single edge razor blade and a scraper and I'm very carefully just working my way along just getting rid of any of the carbon that's high and any of the sort of crud that's left where the gas get ended. Um, generally speaking it's, it's not too bad. Um, and once I've done that I'll run some wet and dry on a flat sanding pad over it just to clean up the surface and then we can get the engineer's um, level on there and some feeler gauges. Okay so I've used the razor blade to remove all the rough stuff off there. I've now got 600 grit because I'm starting fine to see what the effect is. I don't want to go too coarse. And on this sanding block I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible. Not that I think 600 grit at this level is going to do a lot of damage. But the idea is to see if I can just clean it up enough with this. If not, I might drop down to 400, uh, which might be more suitable than this. I'm just worried I don't want to sand out the centres too much. Like I say, I don't think 600 is going to do a lot of damage to it. Let's say, because I've not done this before. This is, uh, I'm just being cautious. Worst case scenario, I've still got to measure it. So, worst case scenario, a skim will be necessary to get it flat again. Right, I'm going to carry on with that. Not very much work, just enough to sort of clean the surface of deposits. Um, obviously this isn't in a clean enough state to fit to the vehicle yet. Um, but it is clean enough for us to measure to see what, if any, warpage is in it. Now I'm hoping, obviously, that there's no warpage at all, um, but the only way to tell it is to use a straight edge across the block and measure it in lots of different ways. I'm going to look up what the uh, tolerance is on um, any warpage uh, and if it's outside of that then there's no point in me continuing to clean this head up. I'll uh, just send it off for um, skimming and uh, that will get the surface back flat again. Right, moment of truth. Engineer's straight edge. Now, the permissible warpage is no more than 0.1 of a millimetre. So I have the 0.1 of a mil feeder gauge. Straight out of it. And if it goes under at any point, then we're in trouble. And we're going to do it in multiple passes. You can also check behind with light, I guess. If you see any light underneath it, I guess there's a gap. So far, so good. Uh, 
actually looking very flat. Right, just to see how fine a tolerance it is, I've switched down to the 0.05 millimeter gauge to see if there's any clearances, and so far I am getting nothing, which is really encouraging. Right, try it crossways and see how we're looking this way. Got to be careful not to knock the level over. That would be a bit of a disaster. I'm really encouraged by what I'm seeing here. This head is looking really flat. I'm really encouraged by it. Good. I'm going to finish up, but I'm going to do it diagonally as well, just to make sure it's not warped from this corner to that corner and vice versa. Um, and if there's any problems, I'll bring you back. Final diagonal check complete, and as far as I can tell, it is all below 0.05mm in whichever direction I go and unless I've been doing this wrong that is pretty good frankly um, so I'm confident that this particular head is straight now that I know the head is flat um, I'm going to carry on cleaning this surface so I want to get rid of a lot of this sort of um, uh, ground in dirt I suppose um, I don't know whether I'm going to carry on with 600 or whether I might step down to a 400 grit um, just have a slightly better cleaning action I'm going to have a think about it 600 is quite safe um, but very time consuming um, whereas I think the 400 I don't think will be too coarse I think it should be okay I mean blimey I don't know I'll have a think about it I'm not going to do any more tonight I am pretty much done for the evening, um, so I'll, I'll think about it. I might, I might carry on with 600 and if that's not touching I might step down to 400. Um, once I've done that I will recheck the flatness uh, to make sure I haven't put any, um, any warpages into it, which I don't expect to do. I mean, I know it's aluminium but 600 is quite gentle. Um, and. Uh, after that I have to clean the rest of the head up. It's had a cursory clean but it's still pretty grubby. Um, so it needs a bit of work. Uh, what does it need doing? So yeah, um, I need to clean the valves. I need to order some parts for it. I need a couple of studs, some brass nuts. Uh, then it's a case of cleaning. Just like, uh, you know, just clean all the crud out of it. I know like some of the carbon has gone down some of these oil ways and I don't want that being pumped out so we're talking clean 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 and then get an airline on it and blow it out let it dry and then blow it out again um, so really it's a, a cleaning job after that look out this idiot cat in and out of my workroom all day long whenever I'm in here Nimbus has to be in here don't you are you a colossal pain in the ass you're a tiny pain in the ass not a colossal pain in the ass you're my little helper aren't you Hey, what?